Welcome to Modern Motoring. In this video, we're gonna go through the energy recovery options, also known as brake regen options, in a BMW electric vehicle. Two things to start off with. There is no one pedal driving here, and there are no paddle shifters to adjust the regen. You have to go through the screen. Second thing is, this is how I've set up the shot. The very top of the screen is the windshield, so you can see what's in front of me as far as the next vehicle goes. Middle of the shot is my speed, and at the very bottom is the steering wheel. And you're like, what's the big deal? I've worn a lighter color of boots, and now that my foot's off the accelerator, you can see it right there, and it is clearly not on the accelerator. So I'm in adaptive, and very similarly to the radar cruise control, the car will sense what's in front of me and apply the brakes and slow the car down and recoup that energy if it notices it being too close. So let's take a look now. I'm at 54, 50, let's go 55 kilometers an hour. My foot is now coming off the accelerator, 56, 55, and it's naturally slowing down. So I'm gonna change lanes real quick. And you can see my foot is back and the car is slowing down quite a bit. You can see it's a lot more of an aggressive brake. And now I'm gonna put my foot in the brake. I've gone from 60 down to 30 and brake went on just below 30 and I'm gonna bring the vehicle to a full stop. I like that it's here. I like that there's options as opposed to either on or off. Some vehicles do have that. Uh, Hyundai, Kia, Genesis do have it on the paddle shifters and they do offer one pedal driving. I don't know if one pedal driving is a deal breaker for some people looking at EVs. It's not for me. So I'm gonna change lanes again. Am I gonna change lanes? No, I'm not gonna change lanes because I see there is a red light up ahead of me and I don't mind that it's in the screen because if you don't like the screen, there's also the iDrive controller right here as well. 52 kilometers an hour, there is a red light ahead of me and now you can see it's really, really slowing down. That uh, bar is going down, went down to 20. Let's put the brakes on ourselves. And now we're a safe, di safe distance, safe distance uh, from the first gen escape that's in front of us. That'll wrap it up. Just this really quick video on showing you just what the different settings are and how the adaptive setting works in the BMW i4. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We are always happy to hear from you. If you like what you see, subscribe. We'd always like to have more people in our community so we can make more cool videos like this. And if you have a suggestion for a video, let us know.